What's up guys, it's Dragon. We have a really exciting product review for you here today. Now I've been trying to do these component reviews like inside of builds in an effort to stem the ever-present gushing, bleeding wound that is the YouTube algorithm punishing content that doesn't benefit my whole audience and instead content that just benefits like modders or tinkers. So to disguise that this is a, uh, a feature on the new and improved ammo counter, uh, we brought in the Hera Arms CQR kit. Uh, not only because it does everything that we need to do to test this kit out, but also because it's a very, very handsome build. I was really happy with this build back when I did it. And if you stick with the video until the very end, uh, I'll tell you how you can get your hands on this guy because it's been sitting on the wall and it hasn't gotten enough war love and it's way, way too ergonomically sweet, way too tactical to not be out on a battlefield somewhere. Plus, I just threw the new Out of Darts 3S LiPo in here and it is really, really humming. Um, so, set that down and we'll take a look at this. So this is the star of our video. So Nathaniel Deal is of the SCNC. He's also AmmoCounter.com. And as a fun fact, he has the ever so coveted uh, best looking guy in the SCNC award. He's definitely going to be uh, Mr. July when our calendar finally comes out. But uh, this is this is seriously cool. So I don't know which mark it is and hopefully this package will tell me, but uh, this was passed to me at an SCNC war so that I could take it home and take a at it and the most interesting thing about this is how much brighter and better the screen is let's go ahead and flip it on and you guys can see even on camera like that is insane how intuitive it is to switch through here and so we've got it set to six because this has a six mag and then hopefully you guys can see here that as we simulate uh, fire we go five four three two one zero and it resets, so very, very cool. Like this a lot. It's not quite as smart as the mechanically counting one that he built into the cam system, which is still a drastically underrated shell. Very, very cool, sad that it is gone, but uh, this is compatible with just about anything. And so right now, Daniel has it set so that it'll side mount. I think that that's ultra cool. You can, of course, at any point, uh, pop this off and reorient it however you like. This top bit will twist. So it could be on top of your blaster or left or right configuration. But this is the new uh, worker barrel slash in-strike barrel OD attachment. And then we're just going to take a look inside this package because I don't know what's in it right now. And so I think this is going to let us test the kit in a different way entirely. So first off, yes, indeed, we have an in-strike attachment here, which has been fantastically 3D printed. It looks like it's a two color print, but then you see the screw here and you realize it's two different prints designed to nest onto one another. And you can see it's got this cable coming off of it. And that's gonna be important in another part of the review coming up soon. And then it looks like we have brand new ammo counter whoop, uh, patch complete with Velcro on the back along with uh, an ammo counter sticker, which will be going on Igor's control box. Looks like a whole suite of instructions and an adapter from USB to micro USB, which again, I've tinkered with this a little bit, will be important in just a moment. Plus his packaging is on point. He's got this ammo counter stamp uh, all over the box. And then this says on it, Dear Drac, let me know if you get too swole for this and I'll send you a bigger size. Oh man, that's very flattering. So, well, there's only one way to put this on, right guys? Ready? Whoa! All right, so YouTube magic shirt change is always a ton of fun. And uh, Nathaniel, no worries. I think that we'll be good in this one, at least until the end of 2019. Uh, we seem to have plateaued at this current uh, level of gains. If anybody has any tips for uh, putting on a little more mass, leave them in the comment section below. Now, back to the action, we have this kit. So first, we're gonna install it on the, uh, the CQR here, and it should be ridiculously simple. So it has an included uh, set of hardware here here, which is again ambi, it can go from either direction, but we're going to attach it as we are right handed onto here. So we'll throw it on like this, and then it's super cool how it attaches to pretty much any Picatinny style rail. Go ahead and throw that on there. We had a screwdriver, got there. And so that's nice and locked in. And then all we're gonna have to do here is change the muzzle that's on here. 
which is this worker flash hider out for this attachment, like so. And we should be good to go here. Very, very cool. So now all we have to do is turn it on, switch down below, and you guys can see we are rocking and ready to go. So we're gonna get in front of the camera and we're gonna shoot towards the pegboard for once, uh, just so that you guys can see the ammo counter in action. All right guys, magazine is in. As you can see, Squish Squid and Squish Bat are up there in our targeting range. I'm gonna apologize to both of them in advance for the sweet, sweet close combat action we're about to send down range. And ready. <laughs> Did I only have five shots loaded into my magazine? Crazy, let's try that again. This time guaranteed six shots in the magazine. Loaded and squish squid. That was better, counting is hard guys. So obviously that was for a six clip if you wanna do a 35, 25, 22, 18, 15, 12, 10 or a six. All of those are pre-programmed in. I believe that if you hold this, you get to a setting where you can start changing and setting a specific uh, level there. And then there's also a way to adjust the brightness, I think. If we, uh, oh yeah, there's so, so many settings, which is what the instructions are for. Uh, I know that you can count down or up, uh, but with only two buttons it is highly programmable and very, very cool, very visible, far more visible uh, than my original Mark I was. The neat thing about it is how modular it is. So this is, I think, a USB micro uh, connection, and it couldn't be any simpler to change this guy out. So we could leave this on entirely, and you can see that not only does it use a USB micro to charge uh, all of the attachments, but also it makes it ridiculously simple to turn it into a, maybe not like field modular, but definitely a highly modular attachment set. So this is of course an in-strike barrel, different than the worker barrels or the in-strike barrels that we all know and love. And luckily we have a light up blaster here ready to provide not only that super funky side rail, but also uh, tell us if it's as compatible with in-strike stuff. Uh, just a lot of good stuff going on here. So uh, we're actually not gonna change the face because it's two screws out to twist it all the way up, but rest assured that that is an option. And we're going to see if we can lock onto an in-strike rail with the included attachment here. All right guys, so six on the counter, even though it's not mounted currently, and six in the blaster. This blaster is so funky. I think it just didn't load, which is okay because in theory, if that's how it's deciding to jam, it won't be interacting with the laser. Remember how I said that this was cool because it was an internal magazine? This is, a, this is a rough blaster. It just ripped the head off one of my darts. Is that just gonna be stuck in the shell now? Oh my goodness, it's a Goodwill special waiting to happen, guys. So, this is funny. All right, so we should be at one on the counter, and we are. We can take this replacement dart, load it in, and see. All right, excellent. So we got full ammo counter. Uh, performance on here, but check it out. There's now just a, uh, a random rubber AccuStrike head floating around in my blaster. <laughs> Truly the Shadow ICS-6 impeccable design. Oh my goodness, this is rough. Guys, uh, I love the, I love the ambition, boys, but the execution leaves a lot to be desired. Uh, maybe stock performance was fine, but between the terrible plunger tube and, uh, this mechanism literally jamming itself, uh, that, that was pretty normal operating conditions, I'd say. Um, woof. So, aside from this, I'm a, a huge fan of the ammo counter platform. I've talked about it, I think, in three videos in the past. Uh, in addition to that, I'm just a really big fan of the way that uh, Nathaniel interacts with the community. His company has been present at, I want to say, every end war, and he has already uh, 
asked to be a part of End War 3 uh, down here in Statesboro, Georgia. If you need more details on End War, card coming up. But uh, he's just a tremendous presence in the community. He's also sponsoring Foam Fest, which I'm attending in, I'm probably in the UK right now. If you guys are watching this video, I think I'm in, uh, I think I'm in Scotland right now prepping for uh, Foam Fest. But Super duper cool product. Uh, this is the, the most recent iteration of it and it's hard to imagine it getting better, although I'm sure he will find a way. Just the modular ability to unplug this, charge it via USB and keep rocking and rolling as well as any orientation you want to put it in. Uh, the only thing that it's missing, I guess, is in-strike rail compatibility, but I'm A, positive he has a printed version that is in-strike rail compatible, and then even if he isn't, adapters from in-strike to Picatinny are ridiculously easy. Overall, just really, really solid, very fairly priced, and puts the, uh, the Nerf Chrono Barrel to absolute shame. I was a little nervous when the Chrono Barrel came out, but uh, if Ammo Counter keeps improving uh, leaps and bounds, with each one of its iterations, I think that there's no no comparison even necessary. So, as promised, uh, how can you get this blaster? Well, first off, I gotta keep my ammo counter because I'm gonna be using it in a special project coming up. But uh, if you would like to own this blaster, I'm going to be doing a private auction in my Patreon. Uh, this week, it will end in seven days, and uh, I already trust that uh, my patrons have such an amazing uh, history and reputation uh, with me, and their interactions have been so easy that I'm just going to throw it up there as a picture, and then if you are already a patron, you can just put a bid in. I don't care if it goes for $30. It just does not matter to me uh, how much this guy sells for, because the people who will be auctioning or people who will be bidding on it are already supporting my channel and my dreams and it just means the absolute world to me. So in lieu of giveaway, uh, this is a way that I can give back because I know if I put it on eBay, it will be prohibitively expensive and at least by putting a, a kind of paywall between the auction and the general public will have far less uh, fraud and trollery. So uh, this is going to be a Patreon auction blaster and the ammo counter is of course available in the link in the description box below. I think it's ammocounter.com but in the off chance that it isn't uh, I will put the exact link down there as well and if you're a paintballer I know that he just started making paintball compatible versions of these which is nuts. It's not just foam flinging anymore boys. Much love Nerf on Drek out. Uh, uh.